California's top judge wants to do away with cash bail, her voice adding powerful support to complaints that the system unfairly punishes the poor. KPI x Melissa Kane live in San Francisco with the proposed alternative. Melissa? Yeah, Alan, we're here in front of the Aladdin Bail Bonds Company. It's one of a number of bail bonds locations right across the street from the San Francisco Hall of Justice. And the days for these kind of companies may be numbered because today we got a report from a judicial group saying that bail bonds and money in bail has to be eliminated. And of course, California's Chief Justice, Judge Kantil Sakaui, says she agrees, kicking off what is going to be a long conversation. We have recommended that the whole system be reformed. Reformed to get the money out. A report today from a group of judges says the state should do away with bail. Santa Clara County Judge Pichon was part of the group that wrote the 114-page report. Setting the bail and using that as a determination as to whether or not a person should be released is not a fair system. When people pay bail to be released, the court keeps the money as insurance that they will show up for trial to get their money back. But these judges say there's a better way. What we want to do is give the judge more tools to use to determine whether a person can be released safely into the community until their case is heard. Instead of bail, the judge would decide whether to let the person go, maybe with some kind of monitoring or supervision. They could also decide to hold that person until trial. I think you have a real public safety issue here. Jeff Staley owns Bad Boys Bail Bonds. He says without the financial incentive to come to court, defendants just won't show up. With bail, there's a good chance we're going to have a family member co-sign for that defendant. Mom is going to make sure that Johnny's doing what he's supposed to. Still, the chief justice of the California courts is now saying she supports that report's findings. And as for what happens next. But it is really up to the chief to decide where we go next. Now, as we were out here setting up for our shot, we spoke to a young man who was completely distraught, didn't want to be on camera, but he said a friend of his had been arrested, not convicted, but arrested, and that no one had any money to bail this friend out, and that he was about to lose his job. How can it be, said the young man we talked to, that a poor person who just gets arrested has to lose their job? It's just one of many questions that will be hopefully answered as this debate continues. Live in San Francisco, Melissa Kane, KPIX5.